Hello, uh, and hello again, everyone. Uh, welcome to math class, as it were. Maybe not the uh, best way you want to see it, but uh, but it's math class. Um, we're still working on expressions today, so we'll be doing not not facial expressions. We'll be uh, we're doing math expressions still, and we've already done uh, some math expression work. Today, we're going to uh, combine some of these math expressions. We're going to add them together. So I'll think of the expressions we've gone over and talked about. Now we're going to add the expressions. And uh, here we go. Let's see, if, uh, let's see if any of this makes sense. We know we've got expressions like, oh, let's say 3x plus 4. And you might have an expression of uh, 6x plus 8. Now what if we wanted to add them together? Now, if in your mind you're thinking, well, well yeah, that's exactly right. It, it really is that, that simple. It's a 3x, and then this plus goes with everything on here. And you know what plus does. It's just, you know, plus 6 and plus 8. It really doesn't change anything. It doesn't change any of these signs. So we're, we're just going to add the 6x, and, and this, this minus 8 is there. We're going to combine them, put them together, add them together. Today we're only adding expressions. Now, yes, an expression might look like this. But we're still, they're still going to be, we're just going to be adding the expressions together. But right here, 3x's plus 6x's is 9x's, and then 4 plus 8 is 12. So if it doesn't feel uh, like it's very much new, that is, that is accurate. There isn't much new, new uh, today. On this one, if we have this expression, then we want to add this expression to it. We're, we're adding that 10x or 10a, and we're also adding this, this minus 6 to it. The addition doesn't change anything. Or if you want to think of it as you know, this positive, that one that's there that we never write, you know, positive 1 times negative 6, we're still at negative 6. And then you put together the like terms, 3a plus 10a. And then if you have minus 4 and minus 6, you know that that's minus 10. And just to make sure, if you're not sure on that, it's just uh, minus 4, minus 10. No, wait. Minus 4, minus 6. Minus 4, minus 6. The calculator is your great friend for the rest of your school career. Use it, uh, use it often. Well, what if I've got uh, something like this? If I have that expression plus this expression uh, plus this expression. Well, it's all right if there's more than two. It's just the same thing. We're just going to take the same and just going to combine the like. We're just adding that so we can just rewrite it because there's nothing changing with the plus sign. The plus sign doesn't change any of the signs. So write it all out. And then combine like terms. 1m plus 3 plus 4 is 8 of the m's. I have a positive 4. And then I'm minusing 6. And I'm adding 8. I have no idea what I'm at. I think I'm at 6. Positive 6. And there's the simplest form that we, we can use when adding expressions together. Well, what if, uh, what if I give you a square? And I'll just put the word square so you know it's a square with my awful handwriting. Turn it so it kind of looks sort of straight. Square and square. And let's say it's got a side of uh, 3y plus 2. What... Um, with that bell. What is the perimeter of the square? Well, the perimeter of a square, when we do that, sorry. Sorry about that. There's a lot going on today. Uh, perimeter, we have 3y plus 2. And the perimeter means you add all the sides together. So it's 3y plus 2, plus 3y plus 2, plus 3y plus 2, plus 3y plus 2, and then you add them together. 3y plus 3y plus 3y plus 3y. We have 12 y's. And 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 is plus 8. So we've got a triangle. And this one is a negative 2x plus 10. And this one is a 
negative 2x plus 10, let's say it's an isosceles triangle. This one is a 6x minus 8. What is that one? Well, to find the perimeter of the triangle, you can add the sides together. So you have negative 2x plus 10, one side, plus another side, plus another side. Then you just add them together. Negative 2 plus negative 2 plus 6 is 2x's. You can use your calculator. And 10 plus 10 is 20 minus 8 is plus 12. So that's the total perimeter when you add all those three sides together. That, that kind of idea will come up. And then lastly, what if I tell you that I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to give you x plus five dollars and, so use the plus sign, and I'm going to give uh, somebody else, someone else I know, uh, 3x plus nine dollars. How much am I going to give away all together? Let me just add them together. These are just some story problems that might show up. So 4x plus 14, that's how much I'm giving to everyone all together. So just a couple of quick thoughts. I know there's not much because there's really not much new here to, uh, to understand. You've been doing much of this uh, already, so not, this shouldn't be too much new stuff. But use the calculator, and uh, good luck in understanding uh, today's assignment. Hope things go well. Hope this was beneficial. If it wasn't, you can just uh, type in. You can do a Google search, search some places, uh, my math website, other places for adding expressions. That's what we just went through for a couple minutes. Have a great day. Talk to you later.